to our radio program. Live as live can get. There's me in my orange shirt on the Ustream, on the app. And of course, we're going to be talking roller derby here in a few moments. We'll also talk about wigs and people who make music videos wearing wigs. Burgess is here. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> we will... last name is not Warhol. <laughs> we will also... Uh, Jay Birdwell's with us today as well. The fantastic Jay Birdwell's. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jay Birdwell's who makes a lot of people nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> we'll talk about her. Top, we'll talk. We'll talk about her making people nervous a little bit later on. God, people people are so threatened by other people. I don't know why. I guess if you're confident in, in who you are, you threaten people. Is that kind of what it is, Burgess? Because that's what I think your problem's been. Yeah. Not not your I problem, but I, people's problem with you. I wouldn't know all you are very that, confident, yeah. and people are like, oh, fucking Burgess. I usually give it two years. But... They... <laughs> people have been motherfucking you for years. Dude, yeah. And it's like, why? You're a nice guy. I, I just, know. I don't know. I just stick it's because you do. It's because you can play two guitars at once. That's part of the problem. <laughs> There's a lot of people who can't tie their shoes. Uh, <laughs> we got on the old skip, or not on the not on the skip on the telephone. They actually called me on the phone, which is fantastic. Uh, we are going to go to the voodoo sex cult here in just a few moments. And what's what is funny? Uh, I, I I got a uh, an email, as I like to say. From their uh, from their award-winning PR person the other day, and uh, she was like, "They've got a new single, blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "Voodoo Cult? I know who the Voodoo Sex Cult is." What's so funny is in 2004, when I started KJagRadio.com, they were one of the first bands I reached out to about wanting to play their music, and they sent me a CD. And so it is amazing that we have been able to go full circle. <laughs> And have the voodoo sex cult today here on the uh, on the big show. How are you guys? We're doing great. How are you, G? Pretty good, actually. And uh, voodoo brand new single out, Voodoo Rising, and uh, they are going to uh, we're going to play that here in a few moments. And uh, first of all, you guys um, are are out with a year and a day. Um, tell me a little bit about this. Well, a year and a day is our first, uh, CD release. You know, it's got 13 awesome songs on it that are just rocking, kicking ass. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, I encourage everybody to go to our .com or CD Baby or iTunes and check it out. Uh, you know, the thing that I would like to point out is, uh, Voodoo Ride is the first song off of that CD. Yes. So, when you pop that thing in or you hear it on the radio or whatever, crank it up and have a good time with us. We are going to play that here in a few moments. And uh, they are with us today here on our big broadcast. And uh, you guys also uh, have the Reverb Nation, Facebook, Twitter, all these things. Tell me about your social media. How are you guys using social media to basically take over the world? Well, we're using social media or a web cabal, if you would. You know, uh, <laughs> we're on all of those sites and always looking for more, and just you know, try to put our best foot forward and tell people what we're about on each of those. And we're always trying to do an internet porn. You know, there's that channel. Yep, yep, you did might. I hear, whoa, whoa! Did I hear that right? Did you say internet porn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Roy is uh, our singer. He has a website called uh, SilkySmooth.com. <laughs> so you can hit that up. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's uh See, these, these, these guys... Shoot me, shoot me an image. I'll print you guys out some flyers. <laughs> That's right. Get get we'll get make sure get. They're laminated too, for sure. Get get Burgess an image. I'll make some laminated flyers for you. We'll, we'll get the whole thing on there. Biggie okay. takes, uh, takes him down to because Biggie's going to the the, B, the VMA or awards or the the, the oh, AVN awards. AVN. That's what I think is really funny about this is that the Voodoo Sex Cult is is in the slot on the Sunday radio show that is usually reserved for porn people, and so they're all about hey we're we're, we're doing the we're doing the internet porn thing. So you know it all works. That's perfect. Voodoo <laughs> Sex Cult loves porn. We're all adamantly uh, embrace porn. 
You embrace porn. Well, that, you know, what's funny about that is that this radio program has embraced porn for many years, and I got banned from Access TV for it. But we're back. Uh, you know, it's, it's ironic, too, because I actually used to be a video distributor for a porn company in Oregon. Look at this. In Oregon? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't, that's an opening. Look, was it family porn? <laughs> that's Whoa. Arkansas. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they, no, I guess it's no, multiple. It's big porn. is a big up there, man. Where it's like more than one, so there was all three reasons, unfortunately. <laughs> so, so you used it, it, porn, porn distribution. <laughs> How do you make the porn distribution jump into the rock band? Well, that would be. That's how a lot of these rappers that we talk to that they they, they, they do the rap thing is so they can get into porn. <laughs> Either way, you're getting candy. You know, my hat's off to him. What a great angle. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the Voodoo Sex Cult with us today here in our broadcast. And they have a uh, they have year and a day. They also have a new single, Voodoo Rising, which we'll play here in a few moments. And uh, they have been plugging away in the rock and roll world for a heck of a long time. And... and uh, you guys are on Facebook and Twitter. Um, where do you get most of your traffic on social media? Is it Facebook or is it Twitter? You know, we seem to get a lot on Facebook. I try on Twitter. It's funny because I always feel like I put out little tweets. You know, I always feel kind of yes. funny. It's like, what am I going to say? Oh, Pete got a new blue guitar. You know, come See, to our that's, show. that's the thing. It's, yeah. you know, so, I... I was what what what's funny about the whole Twitter thing is I was up for a radio job in all places Spencer Iowa in uh, in in May and one of the reasons why they were kind of hesitant on uh, possibly giving me a job and they were wanting me to get rid of my social media presence and all sorts of stuff and that, that was kind of the end, end of the thing but they didn't like the fact that they went on my Twitter account and they found out a lot of porn stars follow me. <laughs> and their sales department thought I was in porn. <laughs> and they're oh, like, no. no, he doesn't. He's not in porn. He doesn't make porn. He just knows porn people. <laughs> he just watches porn. That's, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, sure that you guys a lot of, uh, do, do you have a lot of problems with, with, with people booking you or whatever because you have the name well, Voodoo Sex Cult? Well, actually, a couple of years ago, we got banned. We're playing the Hard Rock out in Anaheim because of uh, the uh, House of Blues. House of Blues. Because, you uh, got in House of Blues. Yeah, because they wouldn't <laughs> put our name on the marquee because they said it was inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> the House so of Blues. Well, the... the property is actually owned by Disneyland. So we uh, can that. That's yeah. the ticket. But, yeah. you know, Miley can get up and twerk and suck a cock dildo on occasion. That's okay. Yeah, hey, but it's not on the marquee, bro. It's not on the marquee. <laughs> it's not on the marquee. It's not on the marquee. <laughs> if it's in black eyes. <laughs> she, she wants on stage as long as she doesn't do it on the marquee. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. Thank you, Bert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got, we got, they, got a, they had a show tonight called Pinocchio and it, and it's Wooden Boys, and it turns out it's a whole porn show. <laughs> but the marquee looks legit. <laughs> That's right. The marquee's been... <laughs> and you know what is funny, Jiggy? Is you pull up our videos on YouTube. Yes. And all of the related videos on side are all porn. I don't get it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm serious. And um, see, this is the thing. Yeah, it has to do with keyword searches. <laughs> That's right, keywords. People yeah. are, people yeah, are out it's there. All food, yeah, it's all there. Yeah. That's a hell of a deal. Well, kind of like native porn, even. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, we'll be talking about the Native Americans later. Not not doing porn. <laughs> we'll be talking about the pipeline vendor or the pipeline trying to stop. That they like to call, call it reservation. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's going to end up well, happening. I bring that up. I grew up in North Carolina. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah I was born in Oklahoma. I'm, I'm mostly uh, Blackfoot Cherokee. Man, so. yeah, that's cool. Now, uh, tell me about this logo. I, I, who designed your logo? That's pretty badass. You like our logo? 
Oh. I love it. Who uh, did this? You know I'm gonna give a huge, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to the graphic designer then, since you brought it up. Yes. I would recommend going to designedbymelody.com. Cool. For all of your, I don't know, web development, graphic needs, graphic design, she's amazing and does amazing work. That's cool. Now, uh, you guys are out of Arizona. Um, yes. What the hell is, what, what, uh, we, when we went to the Porn Awards in January, we drove through, uh, Arizona, and I love Arizona, what the hell is New Mexico's problem? You go to New Mexico and it looks like a shanty town, and I pull into Arizona, and it's, everything's nice, it's clean, there's friendly people, <laughs> What the hell's going on over here? We're not in New Mexico. <laughs> Just fine, man. Well, believe me, brother, we played Albuquerque. That's a rough town, man. <laughs> Great people. Uh, New Mexico, man. You, you drive through there, and it looks like a trailer court. And I pull into uh, and then I pull into Arizona, and I'm like, oh, my God. The hotels are nice. The people are friendly. Arizona is awesome. I just... It's just amazing. Now, uh, you guys... You are based out of Kansas, correct? Yes, we are based out of the lovely city of Hutchinson, Kansas. Hell yeah. So, uh, the, uh, or as they call it, the Salt City, whatever the hell that means. I guess because we got the salt mines. <laughs> Something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's because everybody here is a little salty. I don't know. Who knows? Something's going on there. Now, uh, Voodoo Sex Cult with us today. They are a uh, quote-unquote rock and roll band, as they say on their uh, on their Facebook page. And uh, we are going to play their latest single. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, tell me a little bit about this song. Um, well, it's just it's a party song. It's about how the Voodoo Sex Cult just wants to get out and party, have a good time, and... Just play for our fans and enjoy life, man. Okay. No well, sweet. it's that simple. We're going to play the tune, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to have Jay and Bird just interrogate you about the song. Uh, here we go. It's on okay. the world famous Jiggy J. Marshall. <laughs> 